Welcome back to my video, to my vlog. You guys, I just start or I just filmed my sneaker collection and you should see the disaster that is to my right. You ready for this? Oh my lord, oh my lord. Look at all the, oh my god. And there's like a huge basket. I've also been wearing this every single day for the last four days which i feel like is kind of normal with my generation um so there's that obviously i'm figure skating these days and it's exhausting so make sure you're following me along on that i will update you guys tomorrow after my ice skating lesson with some things now i got something in the mail and it just seems wrong every time i get something that's luxury related to not film it because that's what you guys like which is so great because that's what i've tried to make this channel and now that i've made it this channel i'm like fire bank account so i got this in from forward i love buying stuff on forward and farfetch you guys know those are my two places forward just has really good shipping comes in two days same as revolve i love revolve i'll link my revolve favorites in the description box below also in this video i'm going to put together outfits for like bridal inspiration so make sure you check that out keep watching i guess i should say i bought something <laughs> oh no she didn't i can't believe i did it i'm such a hypocrite i literally said in my video that i posted like a month ago that i wasn't really interested in buying any bags i hate me you see that <sighs> here it is as you can tell it's a bigger bag than most dust bags from bottega that i have about the same size as the one that came in for my pouch bag. I love this thing. This actually I bought on Forward as well. This is something new. They got new dust bags though. Have we noticed that? They're bright green, which I love. I don't really care what my dust bag looks like, but whatever. Are you ready to see what I spend money on? I, I've i always been intrigued by the bigger sized Jody bags, but I never found one that I absolutely loved. And I just know that I'm probably going to regret buying this one because of the fabric, but, or the material, but I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't not, you know? Are you kidding? Are you joking though? Like, are you joking? Because I kind of feel like you're joking. This is the new teen sized mini or sorry the teen size jody there's three sizes now there's the mini jody which you guys know i have which i should probably go downstairs and get so i can show you guys the size comparison um i don't know if i am going to keep my mini jody for that much longer just because i kind of want to get rid of it i kind of want to sell it while it's still like really popular i don't know what to do because i love the color i just feel like it's starting to become basic and anytime something starts to become that i'm like I don't know. There's nothing wrong with being basic. I am basic. I just meant more like over height. Anyway, so there's three sizes. There's the mini Jody, there's the teen Jody, and then there's the Jody. This is the teen, this is the middle of the road one, and it's in this beautiful gray suede. The color is called Thunder. And it's so funny because I originally wanted the mini Jody in the fall in a gray color i'm pretty sure it was called thunder as well because i wanted them to go with my 550s from new balance and when i saw the suede there's just something spectacular about the suede it's just different because all of my bags are obviously woven like this this just was different and i couldn't help it like it intrigued me so I feel like black suede shows way more shit on it, so I'm really excited about this one. Let me go get my mini Jody so we can compare. Here's the mini Jody, and here is the teen. Way different in size comparison. Like this one could literally fit inside this one. The only thing I don't love is that it has a suede interior, but let's switch stuff over to see what fits inside of it. Got these sunglasses, these are from Amazon. Bottega sunglasses, throw that in there. Some keys. This is very niche, but I keep my hot sauce in a little bag. Yeah, there's that. We'll throw my wallet. Got some jewelry in here. I'll throw that in there. A bunch of receipts left in here. 
so cute i'm obsessed i'm going to la again i know are you guys sick of me going to la it wasn't intentional originally i was just going out before coachella for the like styling thing i'm going to but then it got postponed and i already like a week before it was supposed to happen so i just went on that trip anyway then i got invited to the revolve event which if you haven't checked out that revolve vlog you should go watch that because i loved it i'm going back out again for the actual styling thing so three chips and then coachella anyway so here's the bag oh she's cute i love it it's so cute compared to like the mini jody she's so much bigger now i'm such a hypocrite because i did not need to buy this but how could i resist like a new bottega bag is my favorite thing in the entire world life is life comes at you quick and sometimes you you buy things you don't need yay so what do we think dumb or cute or both probably both good morning from hagrid not really sure what's going on with my hair this morning but today is wednesday i really once again dropped the ball mm -hmm, on vlogging so we're gonna try to do this a little bit better today um i am going to go to the mall because i have been craving a caesar salad like nobody's business and my favorite place is chopped to get a salad so i'm gonna pick up a salad from there and i'm going to take some into cody um if you guys didn't know cody started a new job recently which is so exciting for him um but i haven't really dropped anything off for him yet so i'm excited to do that for him and then i also want to put some outfits together because i'm going to la again i know at this point i just basically live in la again and we're just not even gonna we're not even gonna comment on it yeah just go to la a lot it wasn't anything intentional just happened that way so i'm gonna put some outfits together i'll probably not do the bridal outfit idea i don't know i haven't decided but anyway um so i'm going to do that and then i'm gonna wander around the mall so that's what is on the agenda for today so i'm gonna try to show you guys my outfit i don't know how it's gonna do i mean that's pretty okay i think for showing an outfit so here's the outfit of the day i'm wearing a thrifted blazer i'm wearing this top from the line by k it's from my friend's shop modiste which they're having like a say a huge sale because they're moving um so i'm going to put the information it's on saturday and sunday in nashville if you guys are here you have to go my friend jamie lynn owns the store and they have like dion lee all of like the good the good good contemporary brands this is a top i got from her site if you guys aren't nashville you can use my code sarah i believe for like 20 percent off or like 15 or something like that i can't remember um i have my girlfriend denim jeans my 550s and my bottega suede bag because it's finally sunny which means i can use it which is always so exciting Where'd you go oh, there you are he's laying in the sun so that is my outfit i hope you guys enjoyed that little segment now i'm gonna go to the mall and pick up salads so i brought lunch to cody at his work we're eating some salads outside and enjoying the weather because it feels like los angeles right now and i've been craving a caesar salad for weeks now and this is the best one in my opinion in nashville i know there's other places you can get caesar salads obviously but chopped is my favorite it is a warm 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 day jesus mary and joseph um so just dropped off well i just ate lunch with cody now i'm gonna head home and probably get some work done there that being said um time to go home i love recording right here because the lighting is always so good but i just got something in from meow um on revolve this one course set that i thought was really cool and let's see how it fits i hope it fits it said it ran small online this looks like it would fit the large it looks about right okay let's see oh my god you guys are we seeing this corset on me right now holy crap 
This is a moment. Oh my God. So I got this in a large and it's definitely run small. So they weren't kidding about that. It definitely makes the tits look good. It's so funny. I got a small in the corset that I got earlier this week and then this one's a large, all from the same brand. So definitely read the sizing stuff on Revolve, but like, this is cute. Big fan, big, big fan. Also, if you're thinking it's giving uncut gems, you're right, cause she's actually worn this. But like, oh, I'm obsessed, look at my boobs. I don't know if anyone else gets like this, but I'm just really disappointed in myself right now. I, it's a long story and it's everything beyond my control, but like, this industry is kind of tough, I'm not gonna lie. And I just get disappointed in myself sometimes. And that's that. I need to get back to work and like start putting outfits together for you guys because that's what we care about. Pity party's over and it's time to start styling some stuff because I know you guys said you wanted me to do more styling in like vlogs and stuff instead of like a whole separate video. So obviously I'm going to LA a few times, potentially twice um, in March and I need some outfits for that. But then also I wanted to show you guys just like some cute outfits that I've been wearing recently because I know that's always helpful. So... I know when I did the unboxing, I was talking about doing um, the bridal video, but I think I'm going to put that in a different video because I just am not in that mindset right now. I'm in a different mindset. Also, I really want to style my green Jody, mini Jody, just because I don't wear it very much anymore and I need to get my money's worth out of it, you know? So... I just like can't decide if I want to sell it so that's why I'm like forcing myself to use it you know also I used my bag today obviously but let me show you some cute new outfits um I hope you can see my outfit but I actually wore this to a baby shower my friend Jen is having a boy and I thought this was so cute so I had this little bralette on from Revolve of course but I buttoned it to be a little bit more modest. And the set is from Lacademy by Revolve. I think it's like perfect for like brides or even like I said, for a baby shower where they're having a boy. Stereotype, you know. But the tailoring on this suit is next level. I think it's incredible. Also ignore my tripod. This is not like a formal video, clearly, but I just paired it with my ASO stoops of my Aminas and a Chanel bag, but I thought this was so cute, right? I did not purposefully style a like bridal moment. It just so happened to be that way. But this dress that I got from Revolve last year is back in stock. You guys remember how saucy this dress is? I don't have a bra on right now, but just for, yeah, that's what it looks like. And I just threw that same blazer on. I paired it with my silver Prada bag, my silver heels from Amazon. And these Alyssa Rich, Alyssa Rich, don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, no, Alessandra. Alessandra Rich, Rich, something like that. Earrings, and I think it looks cute. Sophisticated. So there's, there's a little outfit inspo. Okay, tying this up. Here is, here is outfit that I'm wearing whenever I go to LA. It is a meow corset and a matching pair of pants. This Bottega pouch bag, which we love. And of course, my beautiful um, Attico heels and match my thrifted blazer. Sweating bullets right now, but it's so cute. It's worth it. <laughs> oh man, I'm sweating so much. I'm so disappointed in myself today. I can't even explain it. I'm such in a bad mood because I'm, I don't know. You ever get like so close to something and then you like it's right in your grasp and you just completely miss it because that's what happened to me. This has to stop happening. Um, Yeah, I just got this meow corset. Look at my boobs, they look amazing, right? So that's exciting. We love the boobs looking great. Okay, pity party is over. Now back to this outfit. So this is a meow corset. I got it in a small on top and then medium bottom. 
Um, it's so weird how Meow, like, their sizing is so all over the place, but Revolve just got so much Meow stuff in stock. So if you haven't already, check it out because it's iconic and it's my favorite and makes your boobs look amazing. I mean, who doesn't want that, you know? So gonna go style that black corset that I just got. Okay, so this outfit is giving Craig's LA dinner fit. <laughs> if you know, you know. You obviously have to wear sunglasses when you go to Craig's for dinner. Just kidding. Don't do that. That's douchey. I'm wearing my Bottega sunglasses, my thrifted blazer. It's the only type of blazer I wear pretty much. Um, and then I've got my new Meow corset. I'm sweating. So things are kind of busting right now because I'm swelling up from it sweating. Uh, but I love this. This was a good purchase on my end. I was so nervous about it at first, but it ended up working out perfectly. And then I've got my camo cargos on. I know you all hate these, but I still don't care. These are vintage, by the way. And then I've got my Amazon silver heels and my Prada bag um, and silver earrings. But yeah, uncut gems. Just kidding. Having way too much fun styling all these outfits. I'm like, I could never wear this now or Nashville. Actually, that's a lie. You should wear whatever the frick you want because that's what's important. Um, I'm also very thirsty. It's 314. Does anyone else look at their um, phone when it's 314? Like pie? Pie day? Is that a niche thing that I do? Those are the two meow outfits that I've purchased recently. I also got this um, bar dress. You guys remember the bar? It's the same brand as the dress I wore for my engagement pictures. Um, so I got this feather dress. I'll put a picture of the dress right here. And there were obviously no reviews because it was a new arrival. So I bought it in a size six because that's the size I wear. And usually six is like pretty loose because I'm like kind of, in, I would be like a five. That's what my number would be if I, if that was possible. I got this dress and I was so excited about it. Here, here I am. Just really excited to open that box. Yes, girl, open it. And so I put it on, okay? Really excited, feather dress. We love a feather dress. I have to call Cody to come help me get it off because it's so tight. There's no way in hell that dress was a six. And you know, I still love that brand. I think the brand is so cute and like a really good price point for what it is, but there needs to be like a warning sign when it comes to that dress to size up at least one size because that was the most humbling experience of my entire life. Numbers don't really bother me when it comes to clothes. Like if I have to size up like this large, I don't, tr I really don't care. Um, I'm all about just, cause like I said, the other corset was a small, this one's a large. So like, what am I, you know? So it, never take it offensively if you have to size up on something. Sometimes I size up just for the style, you know, like it's just, it doesn't have to be something it's not. It used to be such a big deal to me. Like I was like, I am a double zero and a size 25 and that is all that matters to me. Like those numbers truly took over my life. But if you guys didn't know, I struggled with an eating disorder in college and it's amazing how good of a like a place I am in when it comes to my body and everything so yeah I always get questions like why I am figure skating sorry I'm like ranting now I'm like why am I talking about this all um people always ask me they're like also I'm growing out my bangs um for my wedding so that's why I have a slick back hair but people always ask me why I'm figure skating the honest truth is because it's good workout and I like it and it gets my legs in toned <laughs> So there's that. Um, but yeah, so that's where I am. I don't know. That That's this outfit. How did I get from like uncut gems to here? I blacked out for a second there. I literally was just talking about how I wanted to style my green Bottega bag and I just did it. <laughs> Nice going, Sarah. Interesting. Okay, so let me know if you guys want me to vlog my trip to LA. I don't know if that's interesting. I don't know if you guys like my LA vlogs or not. Um, 
But yeah, so I'm going out there for the Maeve Riley styling series thing she's doing just to learn, you know, some new things. Whoa, what is this? That's cute. But I definitely need to come up with some outfits with this green bag so I can justify owning it. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to take a bath, wash off my makeup because I was sweating during that try-on series or try-on. Part. work on a few things probably clean I really need to clean 